Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. On July 15th, 2023, the cops had to rush over to deal with a wild Karen causing chaos at the town festival by swiping stuff she didn't pay for. Even after being told to scram, Karen just couldn't resist sticking around. Here's how that decision went for her. Oh, you never treat me like this, driver! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Ma'am, do you got ID on you? What? You have your identification um, card I on you? I have my ID over here. It's over there? If you come back today, you'll be arrested. Hey, how you doing? Hey, so we got a call about some of your behavior of just taking stuff from the booth? No, I actually was talking to a friend and I was leaving, okay. so. All right, well, um, you're a trespasser from Kent Cornucopia Days yeah, for the rest of the weekend, okay? Yeah, I'm leaving, bye. All right, please don't come back. If you come back, you could be arrested for trespassing. Oh. All right, and just so you know, this is audio and video recorded. Oh, yeah, I love it. Okay, all right, have a great day. Bye. Hey, what's your first name? Um, Azul. What is it? Azul. As Azel? Azel? Yeah. I didn't pay him yes because I didn't do that. Stop. Right. I didn't do that yet. Put stop. Your your bag. I don't. Stop it. Right now you're being Babe, stop. The baby stop. Right. Then stop. Ow, I have nice a baby. And easy. I have a kid in my stomach. Stop. Ow. I have a kid. Ow, I have a kid. You will you take this off me? If you stand up for me. Oh my shit, my pants almost. Come on. Okay. There you go. Stand, stand up. up. There you go. Take this off me. I was Come gonna on. pay. What you are gonna pay? Yeah. Yeah, my babe, stop. Come like, on. Get my, my shoes. Stop it, babe. Stop. Talk to me. Get my shoes. Talk oh, to grab me your shoes. now. We got it. Babe, stop oh, now. Grab your shoes. I want to walk and go where Let's I go walk home. This way. I want to walk and go where I go home. You're under arrest. Stop it. No. You're under Listen. Arrest. Let's go. Stop! I didn't do anything! This Let's is a go. festival! My dad said I was gonna be able to look at them! Is that fine? Can you please take these off, please? Don't- I didn't mean to do anything my, wrong! My keys are in my- I talked to that lady we were gonna buy soap! Yeah. I was gonna buy soap! Okay. I have money in my well, pockets! What you gonna do now is you're gonna walk, walk over here, okay? Are you gonna give me my shoe and I'm- Come on, I got your shoe right here. Shoe in the bag Can you walk for me? Are you gonna go we're and gonna talk to me? Way. Come on. Ow! Yeah. Babe, stop! This Come hurts on. my toes! Uh, we can I walk will, over there. When we walk, I don't, you don't treat me walk like this. I, I can walk myself. Then walk. I would like you to tell me that, like, I didn't... You were trespassed here earlier for stealing. No, I was trying to get you're out. You're here again, so you're under arrest for trespassing. No, I'm not on the ranch. Stop, Char. I didn't steal. I was going to get him back to him. Well, he didn't grab him for me. Either way, you're under arrest for trespassing. Stop! I didn't trust him. Come on. Babe, I didn't cross that. Stop! Come on! I have to go to the bathroom! Go put her in the I was trying to find the bathroom! The bathroom's you... right there. You've Ow, been here all day. Ow, stop! Take a seat Would you stop? Let me sit down! Ow! Ow! There you go. Don't! Okay. Get this off me! I don't appreciate it! I didn't mean to do anything! I was trying to have a good time! My friend is supposed to meet me here! Well, you're under arrest. No! You should have left. Baby! I don't ever I forget! I'm an officer too. You are. Uh, yeah, so I don't be under arrest. Who do you work for? Uh, King County. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have King uh, County here, and they can come verify that you don't. No, work. you don't. Uh, I said, babe. 
Don't, don't. I already okay. told you I live in this apartment up here. Right now you have the right to remain silent. I was uh, actually, am I lemonade? Babe, listen, my lemonade? No! Babe, my lemonade fell and I was gonna, I was gonna situation. give him the rocks. I didn't know. You can decide any time to exercise these rights. I was gonna give him my rocks. Do you understand each of these rights? I am hurt. My arm is broken. I got no cars in the other day. Which arm? My left arm and my right arm. Both of them? Yeah. Okay. Man, I hurt really bad. You don't hurt me. I don't, I didn't tell you anything that like, um, I was an accident that I got hit my head and everything. I was trying to have a good day. And I am. Okay. Then don't say it. And my, I have allergies on my shoulder. You Sorry, know that? He's I had, ca high. you know, I had cotton candy. I'll get back over there. Um, I like. I will pay for the the the, the rocks. We were gonna I give him back. I'm gonna go interview. We were gonna. No, he didn't come back and talk he's, to me about it. Late. He yelled at me. I told him, do not yell at me. And we trust her about Stop touching me. About no, you're fine. Let go and stop touching me, please. No, you're you're going to sit right there. I didn't. Am I too loud? I'm deaf. I would like you to let me, let me go, and I need to go to the bathroom. What's the first thing? A crit, crit, air cut. What? Air cut. Air cut. Air cut. That's your first name? Yeah. What's your last name? I call myself Frida. <laughs> Do you have ID? I left it at my dad's house. Okay. <laughs> I have a cough and um, I was gonna, supposed to go get a corn dog at 8 o'clock. I work at the corn dog place. No, you don't. Um, I was trying to work at them. But you don't. Yeah, I was. Okay. I am an officer. So, Babe, I didn't do anything wrong. I was going to give them the rough spec. All I did was, look, I was looking at them. I picked them up and looked at them. You know that? Okay, and I'm gonna be trespassed here. So would you? Oh, yeah, be for okay, but like, I would like you to uncuff me so I can go to the bathroom. I can't. I don't go. I, I am. Guess what? I am a person that is uh, handicapped. I have to go back home, and um, uh, <laughs> I have a call. <laughs> You've been here all day. How are you taking care of your children if you're here all day? My kids are in daycare. Oh, Ow. it's night. They are. I have two kids. I'm not trespassing. This is what you do to people? No, you did Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Can you talk to me? I've, Can you talk I to have, me and let me go? For right now? No. You need yes, to let me. Ow, let go of me. I need to get up. Ow, you don't do this to a person. You Stop! Go. You don't do this to a person. Let go of me, please. Yep. My friend's over there. I tried being nice. Babe, my friend is over there nice. waiting for me. I would like to know I went to I go to hang out with my man over there. You're not going to. I, I don't care what you say. My dad, Don Nicholson, told you we don't, we don't do this. And I need to get the rocks back. I got f her on the rocks. Rocks? I need to go talk to that guy and that lady. I'm supposed to go buy that soap. Kane so said don't do this. Me and Kane are... Officer. Yeah, I, got my own. Gotcha. I am an officer. Stop. I am an officer. I would like you to stop. Okay. I don't need to go to the, um, uh, okay. anywhere. Like, I stay right here in the grass. Let's get a couple of these bags off. And this here. is my stuff. I own my bubble. Stop. That After you treated me like how you took my bags off like that. And, and, ow. I have a hurt arm. Ow, dude. <laughs> And that's my purse and everything. Okay. Well, you can put a claim in for the city. And no, I didn't do anything. Go ahead and I don't need to go in the ho in there. I need to go to the hospital. Stop. You need to let go. Would you undo these and no. give me my shoe? Let me search for you. No. No, I don't have anything bad. Okay. These are my things that are personal. My, like, I just got dressed and my Josh, my cousin, um, is Do you remember me telling you you weren't allowed to be here? Yeah, I was trying to get out, out of there. I couldn't find a friend, and this guy said I should sit down and listen to music with him. And what was his name? Um, he was an older man, and he said he didn't want a, the ice ring. Okay. Do you know about how long ago I told and you you weren't allowed to be here? there was two other men that um, uh, they were telling me, have you pulled down my pants? I would legally say, 
do not um, touch me. What do you know about you? I'm not going in the car for you to search me like that and pulling down my pants. That's illegal. I don't care. I don't care. That's illegal. You don't touch me like that. Unhandcuff me now. Nope. No. Unhandcuff me now. I don't appreciate this. I didn't do anything. I was trying to get released from the place. I was going to get, um, uh, 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 not a hot chocolate, but, um. You can't get anything here. I thought you were allowed to be here. Uh, uh, I can be here for what I. I'm a service girl. You never treat a service girl like this. I don't know what that means. Um, it means that I do service for the state. I'm an advisory uh, presidential person. So I would like you to, to take these handcuffs off me. And all, and I don't leave here, they said, the people out here. You were telling me I need to leave. But you could have walked with me. You and, for me twice. No, I didn't. You pulled a video of something trying to arrest me. I was scared. I'm scared. No, stop. Man, I was scared. All my stuff is here. We'll get it. We'll get it. No, we'll I don't get, get, that. get that. No. I want to be. No. I would like no. No, I didn't do that. No. I would like you to unhandcuff me. I didn't do any of this. No. You never treat me like this. No, ever. No. Oh, no. 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 This is wrong. You never do this. I didn't do anything. I was gonna go to the other goddamn house. I was He does not want to press charges on her. He feels bad for her. Trespass. Yeah, yeah. So you got the trespass bill. It amazes me how many of these Karens scream, I'm not under arrest, when they clearly are being arrested. Despite the circumstances, Karen was indeed arrested and charged with trespassing and resisting arrest. Back on July 20th of 2023, the Lakewood police were called to deal with a snoozing driver in a car that was still purring like a kitten. Lo and behold, it turned out to be none other than a 23-year-old Karen who just wouldn't budge from her slumber party. After what felt like an eternity, Karen finally emerged from dreamland, but her words were doing the cha-cha with no sense in sight. Let's see how things worked out for Karen. What's your name? Lakewood Police. Lakewood Police. Wake up. 
Every time she rubbed her, she in the ground. Man, wake up. Smell anything? Ma'am. Wake up. You want to see this mark on the side of that? Sure. You want me to hit her with it? You got one? Yeah. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, she's got one. Hey. You know where you are? Where are you? Let me see. You want to see that Hey, you gotta talk to us. What's going Wake on? Up. The police. Steve Laywood. Huh? Is that your name? Steve Laywood. Is that your name? Steve Laywood. Yeah, we're we're in Lakewood. Lakewood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lakewood, Steve Hall. What's going on? What are you doing? Waiting for my boyfriend. Okay. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. That's fine, so you gotta get out of the car. Why? We'll explain that to you. Alright, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. You're gonna have to get out of the car. Why? Because you go ahead. you were passed out behind the wheel. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What street are you on? Go ahead. Do you know what street you're on? Yeah. What street are you on? Go ahead. Alright. Uh, undo your seatbelt so you can come on. Go ahead. Undo your seatbelt. Go ahead. Come on, step out of the car. Go okay. ahead. Okay. I know my, I know head. What street are you on? I know. Tell me then. Why? Because I need to know if you understand Why? where you are. Why do you know? When I know. Why do you know when I know? Alright, step out. Why do you know when I know? Do you know? No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. When you know. You were passed out. When. Okay, you were passed out. Do you know? Step out of the vehicle. No, ma'am. Do you know? Step out of the vehicle. Ma'am, can you tell me? Ma'am, can you tell me? I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle. Are you gonna Ma'am, I'm telling you. Can you tell Are me? Are you going to step out or not? I'm asking you. Can you tell me? Are you going to step out of the vehicle? I'm asking you. Can you tell me? I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle. I'm asking you. Can you tell me? No, ma'am. Can you tell me? Yes. I can tell you when can you step you out of the vehicle. Can you please tell me? Come on. I will tell you when you get out of the vehicle. Come on. Ma'am, can you please tell me? Step out of the vehicle. Please tell me. Yes. I will tell you when you get out of the vehicle. I'm asking you to tell me. I need you to get out of the vehicle right now. Please tell me. Do it now. Please tell me. Get out of the vehicle. Are you demanding? I'm telling you. Get out Are of the vehicle. Are you demanding? Yes. All right, step out of the vehicle. Please. Come on, let you were sitting behind the wheel. We can smell alcohol coming off your breath, okay? Step out of the car. Is she a... Step out of the car. Let's go. Step out of the car. Hey, Step yo, out of the car. Uh, We've asked you 15 vehicle. times. Step out of the vehicle right now. Please. Step out of the vehicle. There you go. Good job. All right. All right. Leaning against the car, talk to this officer. You been drinking tonight? No. Okay. You smell alcohol on your breath. Yeah. Let's Let's step this way. I'm sorry. All right. You're behind the wheel. Okay. You're right. passed out. Right. You can't tell me where you are. Right. Okay. Are you willing to do sobriety test? Yes. You are. Yeah. Okay. All right. Step over here to the sidewalk. Why were you grabbing my arm when I asked you to let like, go? Oh. Because you want to get out of the car. Are you going to do the sobriety test? Nope. You're not going to do it? Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright. You're not, you're not willing to do the sobriety test? Nope. Okay. Yes. Put your hands on your back. Can you grab my, um, can you grab my, um, yes. back out of my, uh,
I have a dog at home. Okay. Can you? I I don't have any weapons on me or anything. Okay. Can you grab my uh back? Grab your bag for what? I just want to text my boyfriend. Uh. Is your phone in your bag? Yeah. Okay. You'll be able to use your phone back at Lakewood, okay? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. We're going to take it in my car. Alright, we're going to come to my vehicle here. So I do need to check you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You don't have any weapons or anything no, that's gonna stick or poke me, right? No, I just my rings. Just your rings? Okay. Do you have any drugs on you? No. Okay. Area, okay? That's okay. I would like an attorney, please. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Do you hear us talking? Yes. Okay. What are you talking about? Let me fucking go. What are you talking about? What are you fucking talking about? Let me go. I hear you. Agent, let me go! I hear you! I can still hear you! I can still f***ing hear you! Let me go! Let me f***ing go! I can still hear you! I can still hear her! She wasn't sure about the arrest. I can hear her. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Dude. Can I talk to you? Can I please talk to you? Can I talk to you? Can I please talk to you? Can I please talk to you? Can I please talk to you? Can I talk to you? Can I please talk to you? What's your name? What's your name? We can talk at the jail. No, he needs to tell me his name. What's your f***ing name? You know you're making an illegal arrest. What's his f***ing name? What's his name? What's his name? What is that bald guy's f***ing name? 
What is his name? What is his name? You're making an illegal arrest. What is his f***ing name? What is his name? You're about to lose your f***ing job. What is his name? I got all the info I need to f***ing have. I have to piss. Okay. Here, I just need you to hold it till we get in the jail. Yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. I have to pee. I really can't have to piss, and I know you hear junkies tell you all the time I have to piss, but I have to f***ing piss! And I'm gonna piss in your car, but I have to piss! I have to piss, and I'm gonna piss in your car, and I'm gonna piss outside of it. I have to piss! Alright, I'm gonna piss in your f***ing car, cause I have to piss. Okay, I'm going to pee here. And I have warned you that I have to piss. Why are you making me piss inside your car? I told you I have to piss. I literally told you I have to piss. 20 minutes ago. We haven't been here 20 minutes. Come on. We have been here 15 minutes and I told you I have to fucking pee. I'm about to take you to the jail. That's fine. Come on. Karen was taken into custody for being in physical control of a vehicle while impaired. She admitted to the offense on September 6, 2023, and accepted responsibility for a city ordinance violation related to physical control. Following this, she participated in a 72-hour driver intervention program, settled on a $250 penalty, and had her driving privileges revoked for 81 days. Based on the condition that Karen was in, I am shocked that her driver's license was only revoked for 81 days. She wasn't just drunk, she was embalmed. I went over to my girlfriend's house to go have sex with her and then I came back home. Excuse me, like I'm naked under here. I'm in just lingerie, I oh wanna my. go inside. And I will have both of you guys in court for wrongfully arresting me. You're under arrest. Right no, now. I'm not. No, wait. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Can we at least talk about this? We're trying like, to talk no, about this. No, no. We're trying this to talk about this. You're specifically yeah. hurting me. It's for fine. what? Down in the depths of southern Michigan, a cop decides to rain on the parade of a speed demon by pulling them over for some one-on-one -on -one time. Lo and behold, a Karen emerges and becomes the star of our show. Are you ready? It's showtime. Well, you went about 45 down um, down Clark Road, and it's no, 25 along there. Actually, I had my cruise control on. I was actually going 28 miles an hour, three miles an hour over the speed limit, which is 25 miles an hour down that road. All right. Do you have your driver's and license in your insurance? Actually, you actually can't ask for that because I turned off my vehicle before you were able to pull me over. Do you have your? No, I mean. I do not. No. Yeah. Nope. Sorry. I'm already home. My car is. My vehicle is turned off before you were able to pull me over. Like, you cannot ask for that. I'm going inside, I'm going to bed. You are not going inside. I am going inside and I am going to bed. If you want to ask for your um, deputy or sh whoever's in charge, that's fine. 
But like I said, your lights were not on until I had pulled in two under the overpass. Well, you're, you're mistaken. So you're I, mistaken no, I know my legal, I know my legal rights, sir. <laughs> no, I'm, you're um, mistaken. Like I said, I, I no, I'm not. Like I said, I am parked. My vehicle is not on. Your lights turned on when I was already parked, so that's fine One if you want to think that you're going to need anything. But I'm not providing any information for you and i'm going to go inside and i'm going to go to bed you are not going inside right i now. am and no. like i said your camera should be on so if you want to review it you like i said you can't pull over a vehicle that is already parked and turned off so my vehicle was parked you turned around you pulled a yui when i was going 28 miles an hour i was pulling up to a stop sign so not only that but i was also slowing down from 28 to zero to make the stop to turn to come onto my street to also park my vehicle and go to bed. So you can do whatever you think you want to do, but I'm going inside and I'm going to bed. No, ma'am. I need to see your driver's license. You do not. You cannot do that. I know my legal rights. Like I said, I will wait here all night for your your little uh, boss, but like I said, your your my car was parked and it was off. So you're pulling over a car that's not going. I have. I stopped at Coney Island, so I have okay. French fries in the car from Coney okay. Island. That's all, right. all you got in there. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that I can help you with? Because my car's off. Yeah. And like I said, I'm going inside. I'm going to let my dog out to go to bed. Being a little uncooperative here. No, you pulled over a car that wasn't going. So again, I'm going to bed. Where are you coming from tonight? Um, I'm coming from my friend's house. It was her birthday. All right. How much I have you had that. to drink? Um, literally you okay, nothing. To, you okay to be driving? I am absolutely <clears throat> fine to be right. driving. Yeah, I literally came from... How long has it been since you had your last drink tonight? Um, I don't know what time it is now because I uh, left my phone at her house. Um, but I stopped drinking at exactly 11 o'clock. So okay, it's 3 o'clock now. I'm, exactly. So it should be at least four hours. I made sure I stopped. I have two children that are under the age of five. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm <clears throat> fully aware of my what's going on. I also just had a DUI not too long ago. So okay. like I said, I'm fully aware of what's going on. I know the situation. And like I said, I'm more than willing to cooperate. However, like I said, my car was parked. And I'm not, I'm not going to do anything because my car was off, my vehicle was parked, um, your lights didn't come on until I was down here. So, like yes. I said, I'm going to go let my dog out, I'm no, going to let my not. babysitter no, go. We're, yes, we're, no. we're, we're going to do a few things, I want to make sure. Well, that's fine, but like I said, you pulled a Yui right, and then you, like I said, you didn't turn on your, you didn't turn on your police lights <coughs> until I was parked and my vehicle was turned off. Mm -hmm. And the only reason you turned on your lights was because you thought you were going to get me with something, which, like I said, you're not. My car was, my vehicle was stopped. You can pull back your camera. We could take it to court if you want to, but then the whole entire well, well, community well. is going to look like a fool because, like I said, you pulled over a vehicle that was already parked. You okay. told, turned around and pulled a Yui as I was pulling up to a stop right. sign. And I told you, I was going over the speed limit. I was going 28 miles an hour in a 25 mile an hour zone which is three miles an hour over the speed limit. I will give you that. Mm -hmm. However, like I said, my car is here. My car is right, well, parked. Where, where we're at right now is... Where is, we're at right now is like, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to let my the, dog out, and I'm going to let my there. babysitter go. Well, let me, let me do this for me. I'm not... No, I'm not doing... No, I'm not doing any field sobriety tests. I'm not doing anything. I'm already home. I'm going inside. If you want anything, we can take it to court. But like I said, I'm not doing anything. You pulled over a vehicle that was already parked. If you want to take this to court, that is fine, but okay. you are going to look like okay. a fool I tell you when, we what, your, when we pull up your here's camera. I need your driver's no, license. No, listen, when we pull up your camera and it shows that my car is already parked, I need your driver's license you're not getting, no, papers. you're not, I know my rights. I know my rights. You can't pull over a vehicle that is already parked and turned off. I'm, I'm not doing this. Is this, is this your um, boss? No, actually, I'm, I'm the shift supervisor. No, I, I, okay, well, like I said, I know my rights. Mm -hmm. My car was already parked and turned off. You're not pulling me over because my car is already parked and it was already turned off before you turned on your lights. So if you want to search my vehicle, go ahead. I will unlock it for you. No, that's okay. I'll There's just, nothing just in, in there. here. I'm just looking. So go ahead and look, but I am going inside. I'm letting my dog out and I am going to bed. 
my you know, car let me tell you, let me tell you something. I know my rights. I need your driver's license you right do, now. You do not need anything. I know my rights. I know my rights. You can't hey, pull over. You're, you're under arrest. Right no, now. I'm not. No, wait. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Can we at least talk about this? We're trying like, to talk no, about this. No, no. We're trying this to talk about this. You're specifically hurting calm. me. Be For calm. what? Be calm. No, let me call my mom because this is, hey, this is illegal. <laughs> This is illegal. Listen Why is he down. being so physically aggressive? Because you're hurting, you're hurting my. You're hurting me. He gave you multiple times That's fine. to comply with That's his order, fine. and you're refusing. Okay. That's fine. I will give you my paper. I don't even have a you driver's start, license. I have a this? paper, and I will give it to you. But like okay. I said, Bring it down. I will take this to court. That's fine. my car is already parked. Okay. You cannot arrest me. You cannot pull me over. You cannot ticket me you're because wrong. my car is parked. I will pull out my paper if okay. you want to. I, I don't have a license. Like I told you, I have a temporary permit, okay. and I will pull it out for you. That's fine. Where is it? It's in my vehicle. Like Wait, I said, I will pull it out for you. At. But nobody has to be physically violent okay. with me. That is rude. When you're placed under arrest and you're I'm and not under arrest, though. I'm to... not under arrest. Okay, that's not up to you. No, that is up to me oh. because my car was parked. You can't arrest somebody. Okay. When my car is, I'm already home. <clears throat> my car is parked. Are you going to listen His to what life, the officer has I, to like say? I yes said, or no? Yes. Okay. I will gladly so I pull it, up my I think paper. Be a good decision but there's to nothing you guys can okay, do. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Point, like I said, I will cooperate. Okay. I'll give you my paper. Okay, I'll just, do whatever let, you need me to do. Let's just start over. But like I said, there's nothing that okay. can be done right now. And if okay. you want to take me to court, that's fine. But okay, like let's, I said, let's pull over your body over. camera footage. My car was parked before he even pulled okay, me over. Okay, we're past that. Let's get to that's what fine. he's asking that's for. That's fine. You want my paper? That's fine. I want your paper. But I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be disrespected, and I'm not gonna be manhandled. I am a woman, and I'm gonna be treated with respect. Ma'am, first off, what's your name? My name is April, and I just got done leaving a five-year-long relationship, okay, and I April. will not be manhandled. Okay, I April. will not be manhandled. April, that is traumatizing April. for me. Here's the thing: I need your, I need your. That's fine. I need your driver's license if you want to go in and get it. I will give you fine. whatever you need to give me, but and as long as I, we can I'm, understand and that, I'm do like, some field you're not gonna to make sure that you're okay to be driving. I'm not even driving. You pulled over a car that was parked. So okay. I will give you the paperwork let's that you start, need to look let's at. Start with that. But like I That'll said, I'm not doing any tests because I'm not driving. I am home. You pulled over a parked vehicle. And that will look silly in court. That will look ridiculous in court. It will look absolutely ridiculous and nothing Get will hold. Get your paperwork and then we're going to do some field tests. That's no, like I said, I'm not doing any field tests because like I said, I know my rights. I will call my lawyer if I need to mm -hmm. right now. Off of my other phone because I'm not doing this. Right now. Let's go. This is my ridiculous my thing, and like I said, I'm not. This is completely ridiculous. I'm very pissed off. Like I, I'm so like, I'm shaking because like, like I said, I just got done leaving a relationship, and you just manhandled me, and like I can't even breathe. I feel like I just feel so disrespected. My boundaries feel violated. I just want to go let my dog out, and I want to okay. go the to bed, and I want to sleep with okay. my children. I want to let my babysitter go home, and I want to sleep with my kids. I want to let my dog out. Like, this is ridiculous. You know it's ridiculous just as much as I do. That's why okay. you're pushing it as hard as you are. Okay. He's going to do a little talk on the radio. So I'm getting an odor of Metoskins from you. You're I'm not. Seeing, I'm, I'm literally seeing, freezing out here. I'm, I'm shaking that, because I'm, I'm freezing that your and eyes are off. No, you're when you're, you got out of the car, you almost fell out of the car. I did not almost fall out okay. of the car. We can pull your body so, footage up so, in court and, so and you to, will be proven wrong. And so I need to do some field tests. You do not sure need to do okay. any field tests. You do not need to do any field tests. If you want to do some field sobriety tests, that's fine. I will pass every single one of them. Okay, well let's go let, for it. That's all we're trying to do. Let's go for it. Let's start with this. Just with your eyes, follow my finger. No, I'm not doing anything. I'm like you I told you. You just said you were. Yeah, but like I told you, you I know my legal rights. The minute I start cooperating with you guys, you guys can use stuff to pull at me. And I'm not doing any of that. You pulled over a parked vehicle, and you're going to try to wrongfully arrest me, which if you do, that's fine. You could take me to jail and do whatever you want to do because I didn't want to cooperate. But then when I take it to court and they pull up your body camera footage and they show that you pulled over a parked vehicle, not only are they going to tell you that you were wrong in that situation, but you were also abusing police, <coughs> like, all this stuff, like, all of this was so unnecessary. They're going to get on you for all that. Like, 
it's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We don't need to be doing any of this. You pulled over a parked vehicle. I right. want to go, I want to well, go inside. You're not going to go inside. My until, dog. You're not going to go inside until I'm comfortable that you are okay to be driving. I am okay to be driving. Okay, well, let's let's do a few things, and then I'll be comfortable with it, and we'll get you on your way. How's that sound? No, April? that's ridiculous, because you're just trying to get me for some <laughs> stupid ass shit. Like I said, I'm not doing it, well, because you can't pull over a parked vehicle. I know my legal rights. I know my legal rights. You're wrong. If you try to arrest me, mm -hmm. we will take this to court. And both of you guys, I will get both of your badge numbers before we leave tonight. Mm -hmm. And I will have both of you guys in court for wrongfully arresting me for parking for a parked vehicle that wasn't even in drive. My vehicle wasn't even in motion. And okay. I'm sitting out here freezing. I want okay, to go inside. Well, let, well, let I want to go inside. Let's, I want to let my dog out. You guys have resolved. so many more important things to be doing. You're worried about a car that's parked when there's plenty of people out there driving right now, probably causing mayhem. And you're mm -hmm. worried about me when I am home. I'm trying to go to bed. Like, yeah, just, well, why is this such a big deal? Like I told you, we're going to go to court, and this is going to get laughed at in your face, and you're going to get a ticket for it. You're going to get written up. Okay, April. April. We need I know this shit, because my brother is a state state police officer. I know well, this shit. You're going to get written up. Well, I know this. Thing. You can't pull over a parked vehicle. I know my rights. My brother is an officer. I know this dumb shit. This is stupid. You're wasting your time. You're wasting my time. You're wasting valuable police time mm -hmm. and all of their equipment. Like, what is this for? You parked over a parked vehicle. As I'm getting out to walk inside, you're just parking your car and stepping out. As I'm already walking up to my house, as I'm already getting out of my vehicle, is when you park your car. That doesn't make sense. That's because it took me this long to catch up with you. No, okay. because okay, you April. pulled a UE, because you pulled a UE <laughs> right on that road, mm -hmm. and I had already turned down. It's a one stop sign, one stop sign right here, mm -hmm. literally two turns. By the time you pulled your UE and you pulled around here, and I pulled in here right when I pulled in and turned off my vehicle, your lights turned on right where that second police vehicle is. You turned them on right as I turned off my car. And I opened up my car door, and right when I was stepping out of my car, you parked your car right there. I know my fucking rights. All right. You're not going to pull me over for a parked vehicle when I'm already at my home up. address. 122. Did we get a return on that mission? I'll say you. You're not going to go inside until I'm comfortable. That you're under the limit for alcohol. I am. What do you want me to do? Stay on one fucking lady? <laughs> okay, like, lady. Like I told you, okay. I, I, I'm a fucking gymnastics. Like, okay. I dance for okay, a living. Let, let's, let's start with this. <sighs> so you're not going to let me in unless I do this. But if I do this, and then what happens? Then you're just going to take me <coughs> your police car when my car was already parked. So that's like what I'm saying. is like I'm not going to cooperate with any of this stuff because you're going to use right. it to your power. I know how this works. I know how this works. You're just trying to get me for something. That's the same okay, you thing, say, with, you say that's you're the same thing with answering any questions. When I get you pulled over on the road, I roll down my window just an inch, and I say, excuse me, I'm not answering any questions. Hey, I'm not answering any well, questions. Here's the thing. Your eyes are get watering. Pulled over. <coughs> because I'm fucking freezing. Look at My hands are turning okay. red. I'm shivering. I'm wearing practically nothing under here besides lingerie. I went over to my girlfriend's house to go have sex with her, and then I came back home. Excuse me, like I'm naked under here. I'm in just lingerie. I well, want to go inside. Bear with me for a couple minutes and we'll get this resolved. All right? This is just frustrating. You're wasting your time. You're wasting my time. Okay, well, let's get this over with, all right? No, I'm already home. My car was parked when you pulled me over. You're wasting time, but you're delaying it further. If yeah, because this is. Test, no, this if is. If you're just under because, the legal limit, then, it's, then you're done. Because it's, you can't now, test me for operating a vehicle while intoxicated if I wasn't operating a vehicle when I was pulled over. Again, I know my legal rights. Okay. You can't test somebody for operating a vehicle right. if they were not operating right. a
Vehicle. Did you say that he was? He, he turned, turned on his right, lights as you were driving my, your vehicle. No, he turned on his lights right where your car. But he saw you, you driving, right? No. Oh, he he, he saw me. Yeah, he saw me driving. He saw me slowing down to a stop. Sorry. Saw you driving. I was going to. Oh, I, I was to going twenty eight. And he he pulled the Huey right <laughs> as I was turning April. from the stop. Sign. April, please. So I was already stopped. First. My vehicle was stopped, and I was turning at a stop. I'm giving sign. you every opportunity to just comply with the test. I just don't understand why you're not going to let me go inside because you well, know this is bullshit. It, it is not. Well, let, let me this do is this. Bullshit. Let's spend a couple minutes. And then if I you, want and then if you to go okay? inside. I well, want to let my inside. dog out. You're not I want to let anywhere. my babysitter go home so I can get in bed with my children. <laughs> like, will you or will you not <clears throat> cooperate with us? Are you going to arrest me if I don't do this fucking silly it's shit that you like, do? It's very likely. For what? For not for not doing your field sobriety test. You're going to arrest me even though my vehicle is parked. And then I'm going to take you to court for it, and we're going to pull up your body camera footage, and they're going to laugh in your face when I hire a really nice lawyer, like I do every fucking time. Is that really the way you want to go through this? I know that's how it works, though, because at the end of the day, spending one night in jail, but then getting a nice lawyer, and getting all of you guys in trouble for your false doing and abusing your power, that is satisfying to me. That is satisfying. Getting a lawyer who knows who knows my legal rights. Like I said, if you're gonna arrest me and I have no other fucking option, I'll that's, do it. That's fine. That's but at the end of the day, that is where we are. If, if that is where we are, like I am more than willing to take this to court <coughs> just to laugh in your face and get you a fucking ticket. And, both that, of and you. that's your right. So All let's right. get through. It this. is my so let's get through right. this. Perfect. Let's start with a little thing with your eyes. Just if you'd keep your nose pointed right at me. It's and kind just, of fucking hard that you've had me sitting out here in the. Just, okay. Butt ass naked we'll be for the quick. last fucking ten minutes. Just, just, just with your eyes, follow my finger, okay? Just with your eyes, follow my finger. I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times. Do you have any vision problems or anything like that? I'm supposed to be wearing glasses, but I'm not wearing them tonight. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go back and forth a number of times here. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it where I can see your eyes but not but not blind you with it. Oh you're fing blinding me. Well you gotta keep your head still. Keep your head still for me. Still for me. I'm trying. I'm no. shivering. Do you not I know. see me? And I, I'm, I'm shivering right along. Right I'm literally, along. Like I told you, I'm literally wearing <clears throat> nothing under this besides All right. lingerie. All right. I'm shivering right a along. Bra, with the... A bra, a fucking harness, and a all thong. Right. That's all. all. Right. That's all I'm wearing. Okay. You want to see it? I'll gladly show you. I'm wearing fucking nothing. No, not I'm at all. freezing. I want to go inside and I want to put my dog to bed. My car was off when you pulled me okay. over. Next thing I'm going to ask you to do is the alphabet. I'm going to ask you to start at A and stop at V. Don't don't do the whole thing. Start at A and stop stop at V like Victor. Can you do that for me? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V. All right. Next thing I'm going to yeah flat sounds too good. Next thing I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to pick one foot up off the ground. Doesn't matter which one. I'm going to. Have you start at 37 and count backwards at 21, 37, 36, 35, 34. You got, you got that? Yeah, just and give me a minute. Like I told you, I'm literally shivering. I, like, I, I, I don't know why you guys are making me do this. I'm fucking naked. My car is off. You pulled me over for nothing. Okay, are like, we going to continue? I'm just pissed <laughs> off. I'm cold. My hands are fucking red, bro. 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. What number do you want me to stop at? 21. 24, 23, 22, 21. All right. Can I go inside, please? Let my dog out. <coughs> A couple more things. Next thing, the thing with your fingers, I'm going to ask you to 
watch me, I'll demonstrate. You're going to touch and count just like I'm going to do. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Except do it through one, twice for two, me. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. I'm not going to count four twice because it's three. So stupid. I really just want to go inside. Like I don't understand why you pulled over my car without the car. Okay, here we got we've got enough room here. Next I'm gonna gonna ask you to do and don't do it till I get done, I'll demonstrate for you. But I'm gonna have you start in the zero position, which with your right foot in front of your left with the heel touching your toe, right? Right. When my right. car's already parked, you're gonna keep making me touch And then and then I'm gonna have you take ten <laughs> steps walking heel to toe. Okay. You're gonna walk heel to toe ten steps, yeah. and then you're gonna turn you're around gonna and come back your seven. Tests. You want to keep making me go. Cool. Did you get all the instructions? I heard you walk ten steps, heel to toe, turn around ten steps, heel to toe, back. I fucking got it, no, bro. No, ten steps, heel to toe, turn around, come back seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, turn around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You impressed? <coughs> Can I go get dressed? Can I put on some fucking clothes now? One moment. How long has it been? Well, we've been out here for probably. I don't even know. Minutes. I'm too cold. I'm literally shivering. My nose is running. How long has it been? How long has it been? Uh, Eight hours. There. Last thing state law says on a request with a police officer, you're supposed to take a preliminary breath test. If you don't take it, then it's a civil infraction taken ticket for not taking it. Just like blowing um, up the balloon. Um, no, that's not <coughs> how it works, but I'm pretty sure I know because they did that last time. I have the right to refuse um, a blow test, and there's no side precautions besides a ticket and a fine that will be fine to me. So I will take that ticket. And I'm not, that's it. You can write me a ticket and that's okay, that. Okay, well, you're under arrest for drunk driving. Okay, well, then give me the blow test. Give me the blow test. You're not going to fucking manhandle me. I told you I've been. This is very traumatizing. Please don't. I will take the breath test. Will you but take you're it? not going to physically touch me. April, I told you two April, times. Enough. I will take the breath okay, test. Well, you just said let you would. go on me. So you just said you would. That's fine, it's but let go on me. Put. It's not a game. I yes, told I you. I literally just went through. Please don't touch me like that. Well, you got to go along with the program. Here. That's fine, All but right. like you don't need to physically April, touch me like that. Take a big breath. Make a tight seal and go along. It's very traumatizing for me. Take a good breath. Make a tight seal. Go long and hard until I say stop. Let's go. April. <coughs> Take in a good breath. Make a tight seal on tube and blow hard until I say stop. Just give me a second, please. You just fucking traumatized me again. Like, I need a minute. We're being overly patient with you. That's fine. And you pulled over a parked vehicle. Ma'am, take a big that breath. That was already at my house. I was April, already parked. Take a big breath. So that's fine if you don't want to wait for it. But you physically manhandled me for no yeah. Reason. Take a big breath, make a tight seal, and blow hard until I say stop. Blow it harder, 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 harder. Keep going, keep going. Got to have more volume. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm not sure I got enough volume on that. We'll see. Right. You are under arrest for drunk driving. Why? When my vehicle is already parked. Put your hand Literally point one over the speed limit, and you parked a park. You pulled over a parked vehicle. You pulled over a parked vehicle. That's exactly why I didn't want to do your test because you pulled over a parked fucking vehicle. You knew you did this because you knew. No, you knew. That's why you knew. That's why you didn't say shit. Wasn't here. Because he knew that I was okay. an inch and he pulled over a parked. Here's your uh... And I'm gonna take you
take you, mother, to the court. No, I'm going to take you to court. No, it don't matter. It don't matter because I will take you to court and I will say that you put my children in danger by put, pulling over a parked vehicle. Anything alcohol, anything home, tobacco, leave in there. And you're yeah. wasting valuable police resources. No, listen, you're you're wasting valuable police resources by pulling over a parked vehicle. And I'm going to take your old ass to court and I'm going to make sure that you get fucking written up for your poor ass. I can't believe the cops keep playing nice with that wild Karen. She's all like, I'm not going to cooperate because she's tipsy and knows she's getting busted for DUI. Classic Karen move. In Key West, Florida, on the sunny day of January 30th, 2024, a Karen had a sudden craving for top-notch meats from a local Publix. However, she had a mischievous plan in mind to grab the goods and dash without opening her purse. Luckily for Publix, their vigilant security team sniffed out Karen's sneaky scheme and slyly noted down the license plate number of her getaway scooter. Let's see how Karen's plan unfolded. Um, how did you guys like get to be alerted that she was one of the employees? Oh, we saw her before? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, did you guys ever call on her before specifically? I've never, her I've never seen before. Okay. So your employee notified you or somebody else? Uh, me and my store manager. And it looks like aisle three, we wouldn't be able to start putting the stuff in the bag. We don't have a camera down that aisle. Okay. But we, we should be able to find her on the meat case selecting the stuff. And I can, just from the video, I can probably tell you what she had. Okay. Is somebody working on that stuff right now, too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need to know as much or as detailed as possible as far as what she took. Um, and then as much of it on video. E even if it's not the whole thing, but, you know, if she's in a certain, like, the meat section or whatever. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the same as one sentence. If you show me our face, I'll Um, well, because you and Dio are the ones that started it, so. I don't know the time exactly. It was like 15 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. What was she wearing? She was wearing like a cream colored jacket, white camera. What pants. entrance did you catch her out of? So she went out this entrance. Uh, we never stopped her. She ended up leaving. You know, she had some meat that she had there. She left it on the counter because she left her wallet. But she already had the back door. So we saved the order. Alright. So I can go look for her. Did she like pay for some items and no. not for others? Or did she? No, she went up there to pay and then she said she left her wallet and she was going to get it. And we asked her, I am going to come back now, and we come back, and she just kept walking. Uh, she didn't walk out with anything? No, yeah, she had a bag full of meat. You can see the bag's like this. All right, let me go find her, and I can trace her back. All right. Um, so 4.30 was the first time I called her. Um, what's your official title here? Meat manager. Meat manager. So. Right there. Oh, uh, well, I was... What's your last name? Once I... See that? A little bit more, yeah. Got duffel bag? Yeah. So she had that old public the old public bag and then her duffel bag too. Let me it's see if all, I can trace her. It's back. already packed with the other bag that she had. So they ring everything up. But she has it in this bag. She didn't take this. She had another bag that was inside. The duffel bag. The the white bag, yeah. Was she at, where is she, at the meat case she thinks she put it in, Fred? She selected all that stuff there. At the meat case? She put it in on aisle three, but there's no camera there. No, let me see. Oh, but her right there. That's her right yeah. there. But that's her bag inside the... the okay, yeah, I can see it. You can't, that other camera doesn't show down the meat case that's over by the deli. Let's see. Oh, maybe right there. No, the other I can't, well, I can't tell which No, I think the other one's better. Yeah, because you can't really see. Yeah. We've got to see where she goes and swap it again. She puts, I know she had skirt steak, 
laptop showing she had a bunch of green light stuff. Last time when I was doing it, it was also weird. It made the floor get into like three. Now it's definitely more than what that's just putting in the cart though. So she probably went down aisle three, Fred, when she shoved it she in had, the... Yeah, she had ribeyes, uh, T-bone porterhouse. Yeah, because everything that she's putting in there is much more than what she put on the conveyor belt. Yeah. When I walked in, I looked at the meat case, because there's a lot of... There's a lot of... I would like to see her come in come with that duffel bag compared to how she walked out. Because if it was like empty coming in, yeah, and see that bag, is see how it looks now compared to what it looked mm -hmm. like on the register. On the register, it was like all big and it mm -hmm. could barely fit in that case. Well, you see how much meat she's got in the cart next to the. Yeah, look at that whole stack it's is all, all meat. meat. It's like twenty packs. So what about like the paper towels and stuff that she has? She left it. She left all. She's of just them. using okay. that to block the deal. Yeah. Okay. Can we um? Where see is what? she going down? 13, I don't think I have. Or like when she approaches the counter and or to like the cash register and everything? Oh, I have down 13. Here we go. see where she goes. Alright, so at least half a shopping cart full of meat products. Because you're thinking a half cart worth of meat is how many hundreds of dollars? 200. 200. Yeah. I've What's the threshold for felony now? Is it still, it's not 300 anymore, is it? No, it's 1,000. What? 1,000. 750. 750? <clears throat> Probably not that much, but... Let me see if I can it, get her to come you know, up here. One of those packs could be $75. She's a drug addict. She probably has brown so. Oh, okay. Um, are you guys, you guys aren't able to accept the product back now at this point now that it's been in her possession, are you? Thank you. Thank you. I mean, we can take it. But we can't sell it. Yeah, I mean, do you, if we, if we can get it, do you guys want us to bring it back or? We can bring it back and we can donate it. If it's, if it's unopened. Yeah. If it's unopened, the, um, we, bring it, we can it bring it back, but they can't resell it. All right. You can donate it. Left but store. only if it's unopened. If it's already opened up or whatever, then no, we can't use it. Or they, they can't do anything with it. It's just... You know what you're going? I'm trying to see. Where, you there? It's flatter and it's yeah. not bulging and big and round. Yeah. Way. yeah. Like, this is like... Right here, a little bit. Yep. Yeah. She has another bag in there. Yeah, but she only walks out with that one. Yeah. So, but you yeah, can see you can the difference. See it's, yeah. You can see the difference between this. Right, yeah. She, well, she could yeah. barely rip up and she was leaving. Yeah. yeah but, and this looks open, don't it? It's open and there's another so, bag. Do you have it when she's hiding everything? No, no she goes, she goes down, down aisle three. three. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. And then when she goes back around to aisle one, it's already too late. Yeah. Um, so I still need just the estimate of what she took, like even an approximate, like... I, I'd say about $200. For what she took? From what yeah, because it was outside skirt oh, safe and a few other things. Because that's good, so if we try to the pack. If you go to, um... Well, this was 312 is what she saved. Right, so but I would But that's what she, she put up on the counter to be rung up. Yeah. So she didn't walk away with any of that stuff. No. no. Well, that was on the six package. No, set, well, seven. But yes, yeah, so, somewhere in that vicinity. But that was all green-wise that she put back. So it's a little bit cheaper. I'd say two, 200, 250. 42 to 5, 4. We're 10, 4. I'll be leaving here hey, in about a minute. Can you have bars? No. Oh, that's what I'm asking because I need to know. No, it was not ours. Bobby. All right. Um, apparently, she already confessed to. So. Um, yeah. So I need to recall. Take care of that. All right, so what was your best estimate? I'm sorry. About 200, 200 250. Once you put those other like seven or eight yeah. Yeah, up, so approximately. Yeah, half of whatever she So did. you said like between 200 and 300? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I just printed all of that stuff out, Katie. The liquor and everything. Me and Jason just printed well, it out. I think the I think the other alcohol was up there. Uh, it's just okay. there's a lot going on. Uh, okay. We were all over there. Everything else, I just reprinted it, but I cannot find the five two seven. Um, I'm assuming you guys want her trespass oh, yeah. from both stores. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I'm it's on in there, Katie. I can look. They're already you. on the way to the jail I'm, with her, so I'm gonna head on over there. I like them really. Um, well. That's obviously our case number for the report. Um, the main store. Oh, you just found her here. Yeah, we found her. So we went to that other address, the one over on Sixth Street. It wasn't there. You know, the property was open where she was there. So then I looked some inf we looked some information up online because apparently her and another friend have to do with this scooter. So then we found out on that case, we read an F5. This address is what popped up, and lo and behold, we found this scooter that matches with the plate and everything. And it's not like it. Okay. 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 Yeah, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Melissa, I want to hang you with the QS Police Department. Um, you're detained because you're the suspect in a, a shoplifting case in public Searstown. Okay, so I have to ask you some questions. But first, I need to read you the Miranda warning. I'm reading you the Miranda warning. And I ask you questions. Alright? Alright. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you for any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. All right. Uh, do you understand each of these rights? Yes. Okay. Um, have you asked any law enforcement officer here to speak to a lawyer? No. Do you want to answer some questions? I'll answer your questions. Okay. Do you know what we're here for? Yeah. I mean, I I went okay, and I they got all their stuff. Who got all what stuff? They got all their stuff. Who got all what stuff? Mm -hmm. When I went through the line. What, you went to what line? Through the shopping line. At Publix? Yes. And who got, well, what stuff are you talking about? The groceries. What groceries? The groceries that I was going to buy that I don't have my card for. Okay. Did you walk out of the store with stuff that you didn't pay for? No, sir. No? No. Five, six, ten, nine, seven. Are you a bag full of meat, maybe? I'm sorry. No? Do you want to redeem yourself and, and return the items? Will I go to jail? 87 Cullen, signal for no injuries again at Publix Searstown. I don't know. 87. I thought you didn't leave with any items. 87 signal for no injuries, Publix Searstown, 3316. You don't want to redeem yourself? Listen, I'm, my husband's out of work. I'm in a really bad position. Well, it doesn't excuse okay. stealing it hundreds of dollars worth of meat. It does not. You're right. You're totally right. Well, where's, all, where's all the meat at? Is it here? Is it on 6th Street? No, I don't. Huh? I have it. You have it? Where? If I give it back, am I going to go to jail? Well, I don't know. Well, can you answer that question? Do you think they're going to be able to resell meat that was stolen? Realistically? No? I don't know. I mean... <laughs> so is, it, is the meat here? Is it on, do you live here? Is this your house? No. Is it on 6th Street? Where's it at? Did you hide it somewhere? So, so where's it at? Is it on 10th Avenue? 9th Avenue? <laughs> no. You're not going to tell me? I'm on 87. I'll tell you. I mean, I just, I, I don't, I, please don't tell me the jail. Mm -hmm. Where's the meat at? Is the meat at? I just want to know where the meat's at. Are you taking the jail? Huh? Are you taking the jail? Yeah, you're going to jail. Turn yeah. around, put your hands back in there. I'll give you the meat. Turn around. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please. I don't think so, okay? Please, I don't care. I'll give you the meat. This is your bag, you said. Is there anything in here at all? Please, sir. Hold on. Hold on. 
Chris said he sounded a bit off as well. Does this pop up? Copy. Yeah. See the uh, oh, uh, R.O. for one of the vehicles? Yes, yes. How's this the black one, I guess. No, it. Anything on you? Anything sharp? No. Dangerous? No. Mm-hmm. Sir, please, can you give me a chance? It's not my case. It's, it's another officer's case. And Publix wants to press charges. But if I don't have anything, how can I go? Because I mean, there's video of you walking out the store with a bag full of... It might help to do it then. So I don't know. Returning that. And you just told me you took it. But that is up to... That's there, okay? I'm just standing here to help, you know? Is this all the time you have the keys? It, who, who's in the house right now? My friend. Which door? The front door? You walk in there with it? Mm. No, you didn't go there because you weren't at six. I don't know. Okay. So you don't want to... So where's the meat? Is somebody else in possession of stolen items now? So Because no. now you're going to put somebody else in the... No, I'll get it for you. Well, where's it at? 42 to 5 4. I have it here. Go ahead. You have it, you have it here? We're 10 4. I'll be leaving here in about an hour or so. Copy. She admitted to a post Miranda, so I'll just take her to the jail. You can meet me there. What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean? So, uh, are we going to get the meat or not? Can I get it for you? And be, can we'll it, walk do, in there together. Is it in there? We can walk in there together. I'm, I'm standing right here. You know, I'll be am your I wit- still going to go to jail? I'll be your witness. Yep. I'm not. This is not my case, man. I'm still going to go to jail. Yep. If I give you the meat, I'm going to go to jail. Yeah, you're going to jail regardless. Yeah, I'm going to jail. Okay, okay let's go. Who's in this house? You're okay. putting them at risk? Let's go to the car. Right. Ma'am. Okay. Walk this way, please. Toward my car. He's got, get, get the QSPD uh, statement. Their ears looks a little different. Oh, we don't really need one. So you don't need one? Yeah, if he brings it out, it's fine. Okay. That's what I put it in there, but... Does Melissa live here? No. No? Okay. Is this her, sco- this is her scooter, though? What's well, gonna be here for a, a minute? Are these your glasses? Is there anything else on the scooter you want to bring? Okay. Well, it's yeah. Well, it'll be it'll be cool to have dead eyes on it. Yeah. Yeah, I have pictures of it. Yeah. Plus, I'll be able to itemize it and get a little Is that again? Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Hey, her scooter's going to be here for a minute. I don't know if y'all want to like, put it on the side yard or something like that. Are you going to tow it or no? No. It's okay. legally parked. No, put the resident of the house says that she brought it in there. And, yeah, I mean, that's Anthony Farmer, if you don't know that. It's yeah, and there, there's video of, uh, they're walking out of skirts. Everything to get in the store is all in there, so. Okay. Well, it's good. He's training, so it, this was, like, the perfect, uh, we went over to mm-hmm. Smith where they came back, and I was checking our M&I, and it was a traffic stop with a, the lady who lives here mm-hmm. on that scooter with her, and so that's why we came over here, and oh, that's how we problem. came about. That's smart. Just worked out. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
out the bag of meat too. Oh, you did? Yep. Check you in with the nurse, and then after that, um, they're gonna get you all booked in, and then they're gonna uh, offer you all that. All right, let's see. All right, gonna take your glasses off for you, real quick. Okay. All right, thank you, ma'am. Because it's based off the dollar amount. Um, it's definitely not $300 for us. Okay. Then, I don't think so. Then they're just doing it. Well, they also raised the threshold for a felony misdemeanor a while ago. And I think you're way under that anyway. So, uh, adult penal arrest? What does that mean? So, a, a while ago, um, anything over $300 needs to be felony. So it's easy to hit three hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Just me. He brought her over for me. Um, a couple years ago, they raised it. So instead of three hundred dollars, it's at closer. It's either like seven hundred dollars or a thousand. Oh, okay, good. So as long That'll as you're under that. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. It'll be. It'll be yeah. All right. Thank you. It's definitely not that. Okay. Then, um, as far as bond or anything, that's all up to whether or not like they have somebody available. I. That's not my call. Oh, thank you. But I appreciate you giving it all back to us and so we can get it back to the store. Um, they can't sell it, but at least they can write off the exact amount that they lost or whatever. So, um, And just so you know, when we write in our reports, if you know the people cooperated with us or whatever, like the judges, they take a lot of that into account too. So, um, you know, always keep that in mind. Hopefully you don't get in trouble again, but, you know, if you say this person cooperated, answered questions, gave us back product, whatever, you know, that, that goes a long way towards, you know, what they do. So it's going to be just a minute or two because they brought people over in the van, so they got up before us. Is this, is the answer going to be a high bond? For a misdemeanor shoplifting? No, I think so. I can't believe you. I don't know. It, thing is, is it also depends on the judge. Some judges are real lenient, other judges are more strict. 
so I have no idea who it's going to be. It's going to be reviewing the paperwork later on. So, um, uh, have you been here before? Oh yeah. Any time recently? No. I just got off a ten-year drug offender probation. He's got kind of gone, right? Yes, he does. Let's hope they figure that out. <laughs> right. uh, five four, be careful. There's going to be another vehicle coming. Um, well, like I said, it's non-violent. It's misdemeanor. Chances are you can bond out and you know, maybe pay some fines, some court costs kind of thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which already sounds like you already have it hard, but yes. Um, that's not extremely helpful. <laughs> I'm not going to go anywhere. Can I just get, get my keys? I, I don't know. I can't see in there. You know about inmates or drivers? I, I can't see any of the inmates from where I'm at. Alright. Go ahead and look up for me. The hair stuck in my boots. Oh. This oh. side? Yeah, underneath my mouth. Sorry, my mouth. All right. Oh, so bad. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Can I get the hair? Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Is that it? Uh -huh. Okay. Are you okay just chilling here with me for just a couple of minutes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they have like four or five guys that they have to take in. And because of the time of day, they have to get them in first. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you. Okay. I'm, I'm not allowed to leave you. Okay. Is it just the stress of the situation? Yeah. Everything. <laughs> My life has been so bad. My husband lost his job. I don't. I can't work. Things are just so bad. <laughs> What kind of work does your husband do? He's a fisherman. He got fired. Okay. I have an alcohol problem so bad. He used to be on drugs. I started doing it again. After your probation? I did it so many years. Clean. How old are you? 48. I'm too old to be in this place. I'm too old to be I don't want to be doing the same stuff in two, three more years, right? No. Well, there's might be some like programs and stuff that the jail might be able to tell you about that might help. I've gone to all of them. <laughs> been to all of them. They suck. Yeah. They truly do. Well, one of the problems is being down here in the Keys is we have really limited resources. You know, there's a thousand families that are in need. We only have enough resources to help maybe 200 of them, you know? We just we just don't have enough. We're not like a big city that's got big budgets and lots of programs and different shelters and everything else. We have one shelter, you know, we have like one soup kitchen. You know what I mean? We, we just don't have a lot down here to give to people. But, and, and I will tell you, tell you the one thing that I have learned after doing, being in law enforcement for 20 years, if you have a substance abuse issue, it doesn't matter if it's drugs or alcohol, Key West is not the place to be. I know. <laughs> he was to get out of here to be with my brother. And where? And I did it because I, I, she lives in Boise, I know. Mm -hmm. And I, before Thanksgiving, I was going crazy trying to make Thanksgiving dinner for everybody. And I got all the groceries. I was on my bike and I totally put the tendon in my foot. Like really bad, so yeah. I got a little bit of work again, kind of thing. Right. And so 
was supposed to go see my family and I didn't. <laughs> right. Because of that. I know, but just in general, like, if, if you guys want to get cleaned up and have a shot at, at something better, Key West is not going to be the place because it's everywhere you turn around, you know? Like, the whole economy is based off of bars. Know. You know what I mean? So, it's, I mean, uh, I just don't know how long they need me to wait before we can try to go up again. What is it, because people are in court? Hmm? Yeah, because it's the end of the business day, so, or they could either be doing, coming back from, like, court appearances, or it could be that they came from, like, work assignments, I don't know, but because it's 6 p.m., they all have to be in the jail and accounted for at a certain time, so that's why they have to get them up there right away, and that's why we get put on hold for a couple of minutes, so, yeah, but she's... She's upset and crying and shaking and, you know, like we can't sit down here. <laughs> All right. All right. I appreciate it. See what you can, see what you can do. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> don't, don't cry too much. It's going to make your nose run. Then it makes a mess. <laughs> On one. <laughs> I said no 14 if you want to know what we had. I've had to wait out in the Sally Port while they unload uh, three different vans and I'm still waiting to be in my upstairs with my time machine. If I had to guess, I would speculate that Karen was trying to exchange the stolen meat for drugs from the guys in the house, but the police showed up. Nonetheless, despite Karen's poor negotiation strategy of returning the unrefrigerated meats in exchange for her freedom, she was arrested for misdemeanor shoplifting. What I don't understand is why the female officer felt the need to explain to Karen that shoplifting becomes a felony over $700. She should have let her find out the hard way. On July 14, 2023, the cops got a call about a wild Karen who smashed a window in her parents' home. When the boys in blue showed up, they had to put Karen in timeout for getting too feisty. While one officer played detective with Karen's stuff, the other one had a little chat with the parent who dialed 911. Here's how everything played out. She hooping and hollering like she doing right now, like she always do, big bad wolf. So I said, bye, Mari. I'm, hey, talk what? I'm talking to her and I'll talk to care. you in a second. I got my mother on the phone as a witness right now. I don't care. Anyway, I don't so care. I said, well, bye, Mari. Have a good day. So as she mm -hmm. coming out this way, she knocking stuff off our no, kitchen the table. Mm -hmm. No, the f***ing no, 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 I will bust your f*** with a body while you ride your f***ing Stop. You lying. That's on your f***ing water. You pregnant with you lying. Why is she knocking stuff down? You f***ing lying. I can't go for a chair. I didn't I'm gonna give you your chance to tell me what happened. She lied. Okay? I'm not trying to hear none of that. 
they finna lock me up or press charges, stop talking to me. Do it then. Do it. Tell them right now so I can, so I can get locked up. Do so it. Anyway. Yelling. My grandmother talking. Grandma, she not listening. She big bad wolf. Hey. Hey, mom. She has a right to her story. So anyway. She my husband okay. asked her she, why she knocking stuff over. I didn't knock things over. I literally walk in the chair. Hey. right there. My head, my leg hit the hey. chair. Hey. I didn't knock over hey. shit. Stop. What you looking at, Who the you? Stop. I didn't stutter. I didn't stutter. Y'all lying. I didn't knock over <laughs> shit. Your ass did anyway. knock over. And then your ass got mad when Stop. she told you to get out of her house and hey. you broke the window. Because hey. she kicked me because she me, I can walk out on my own. I don't need Go nobody to my Go over and talk to my partner. That's the dick. Go you over. pushed me. What are you talking about? Go over and talk don't to touch my me, please. I'm not talking to nobody. If y'all ain't finna press charges and take me to just I'm find that out or not. Well, if that's what the y'all doing, I'm at 121. Come find me. Just put her in handcuffs. Come here. Stop resisting. <laughs> Who resisting? You Who are. resisting? I'm not resisting. I'm not even I'm not resisting. I don't know exactly what I got yet. I'm not resisting. First of all, what's Stop moving your arm. You're not going to break my What the f is wrong with you? I'm not resisting. What the f are you doing? I'm not. <laughs> Would you throw her just in the back of the car? I'm going to find out what I got. Get the f off me like that, bro. You want me to walk with you? Get off of me like that, bro. Alright, I'm pressing charges on y'all. Let my arm go! No. Ah, uh, you got it. You got it. I hope your dad, bitch. You in that broke baby. What's wrong with you, dumb bitch? You, you can't get to the city. What's wrong with you? I asked you a question. Have a seat. I am finna have a seat. What did got it, bro? You. Sit down. You know what, bitch? I don't know. I didn't search her yet. I know. Let her sit in there for a couple minutes. Ten cents. The radio just went weird. I think I got at least criminal damage. All right. But I couldn't get a uh, story out. She was yelling and screaming. All right. I'll be right. You should have did that before you put your hands on me. I can have my phone. No, you can't. Yes, ask. I can. You're in our custody. You can't. Okay, ask. well, I'm I'm trying to talk to my father. I don't I don't give a f none of that. I don't give a f you want to be on your phone. You're not gonna have it right now, okay? You need to relax. I am relaxing. I'm You've not made this relax whole situation worse. I don't care. They're lying. We can't even talk to them. Cause they're lying. I'm not gonna sit there while they're lying. What, can I have my phone, please? No, yes? you cannot. You are in custody. You cannot have. Your okay, phone. well you're hurting my. Well, then give me your phone. That's what the f I'm trying to do. Move. Now you're hurting my eardrum. I don't give a f word in my arm. F what are you doing? These f cuffs are too f tight. Well, because you wouldn't let us put them on. You were fighting us. No, the f was not. I kept f walking around because you're f how you have my f arms behind my back. No. Yes. That's how you put handcuffs on. That's not how the f put okay. handcuffs on. Okay. You put my hands below my f back, okay. not above. Okay. The f wrong with you and a female should have put you... me in handcuffs, not two f men. That's not how it works. Yes, the f does. Okay. I know my f right. Now listen. I don't care. I already do, see what the do, f up there. Do you Daughter want just us? broke window. Daughter almost slapped her taller do brother. Daughter has mental illness. Do, do. I did not almost slap my little brother with the f. That little boy been f there with me all f. If I went to slap my little brother, would slap the shit down. What's wrong with you? It's not my fault that they don't watch their kids. Okay. So if she's not pressing charges, I would like to either be admitted to a mental institution or something because I'm not going to jail. Okay. I don't give a okay. I don't care. It doesn't take that long to tell them that you push me out the house and I bust the in the window. Like all this elaborate ass, all that bullshit, you can just stop it because I did not go. Only thing you see knocked down is a chair. I don't want to touch her dust kids anyway. It's literally regretful to even come on her. That child she got pregnant with right now gonna hate her.
gonna hate her guts and I can't wait. You gave birth to another child and your first ten hate you. Ain't that something? That Call the police ridiculous. on her ass. Call the police on her. Man, you in her. The your didn't get your car to shot, broke boy. What's wrong with you? Your whole marriage is broke. Ain't that something? How y'all married and y'all both broke? Shit is ridiculous. We were could never why y'all ass ain't never gonna get blessed a day in your life. You called your mama thinking she finna give y'all five hundred dollars to get the fing car the shot. She ain't giving y'all a shit. If she finna press charges so we can hurry up and get this shit over with, I don't get no fing about being over here. Fing off. What'd you end up with? Huh? What's up? Criminal damage. Okay. So. Quick snap picture of the uh, window. Her brush at and broke. I'm gonna be following Carson's over to the jail here in a few minutes. Can you let the jail staff know we have a combative spitter coming their way? My hands are swelling. These cuffs are too tight, Can you and face I said that. Way? that. Well, you're also not stopping spitting and... Who not stopping spit? I spit on y'all one f***ing time and stop talking to me, bro. Stop moving around. I'm not f***ing moving. Your hands are not swelling. Yes, they are. I no, feel it. Not. How are you going to tell me what I feel? Okay. Thank you. You're not a, you're not a doctor. You're going to do something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I'm not talking. Thank you. Sometimes this thing works, sometimes it doesn't. How are we doing? What's up? This young lady is uh, coming to stay with you. Okay. So, are you going to be cooperative with us? Yeah. Y'all okay. look way better than them two. Okay. What's your name? I'm Arvin. What's your last name? Okay. I was going to say, what's she here for? Uh, criminal damage, resisting, and negative battery. Okay. All right. Are you going to be a problem for us or anything? Nope. Okay. Let's get it over with. All right. That's fine. Take her. I'll go in and start to the sound. There's her uh, property. Stay on her. Karen really went all out with her latest escapade. She's been accused of giving the property a makeover without permission, otherwise known as criminal damage to property, playing tag with the cops, which resulted in a resisting charge, and apparently taking her frustration out on a poor peace officer, which turned into an aggravated battery. Looks like Karen's idea of fun is definitely not in the rule book. On the night of October 15th, 2023, cops were summoned to a bar because of a boozed up Karen who is giving the bar staff a major attitude and creating chaos. Here's how the law handled her. Seven fifty eight quarter stop here with Thompson 28. Adam Frank William, 5146. Adam Frank William, 5146. Hey, can you open up the door for me? Same 150, go ahead. Hey! Are you Candace? Same 150, 10 4, 10 2 here. Are you Candace? Yes, I'm Okay. Hey, Candace, what's going on today? I just want to go home. You just want to go home? Okay, that's fair. Do you have money for a taxi? I don't 
phone. You said you don't? Okay. Do you have a friend that you can call? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we can't drive, so what other, some other options do you think we can come up with? We can pay for... You can pay for a taxi? Okay, do you have cash on you? Okay, can I just see it? They, they require me to ask them to see the cash before I get you a taxi started here, that's all. Is that your purse on the floor there? Yeah. Okay. And then your phone's behind you there. So what was going on today? Why were we banging on the window here? I should not bang on anything. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, the report was that you were banging on the window on the door trying I, to get in. I didn't do any of that. Okay. So, what happened? How do we end up here outside right now? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. So right now we're trying to show that you have cash so I can get that taxi started to come pick you up, okay? Yeah. Remember how you're going to show me that you have cash? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's your wallet. I don't. I don't need to go through it. If you have cash, just show me so that way I can get the taxi started here for okay. you. Okay. Candace, did you come here with anyone? No. Okay. Maybe you can try going into your phone, seeing if you can find a number and giving someone a call. Okay. Your phone's behind you. Right, and I'm trying to get you to go home, but you have to find a way. You don't have money right now, so I'm asking you to use your phone to try calling a friend, okay? So just grab your phone. It's behind you in the seat. There it is. Just try grabbing your phone, giving someone a call. I'm going to be right back, okay? So what's going on? No, that's fine. Do you just, did you just want her gone for the night? Do you want to ban from the property? Did you, um, what would you like to have done? Ban would probably be what the owners um, would like. Do you want, I could it's, talk to You can call, talk to him yeah. and just see if he wants it. Okay. So it's totally your guys' choice. I'm just trying to make sure before I see about getting her out of here what, if yeah. there's anything you guys want done on that part. the property for the evening. Yeah, so she, we're going to be past that part, but just more so if she's allowed to come back, it's, that's the biggest thing, so. You can just put on speaker for me, please, so that way my body cam can pick it up. There you go, you're talking to him now. Hi. Hello. Hi, it's Julia. Hey, so Julia, I'm just trying to see, um, did you just want her gone off the property? Do you want her banned? How would you like to see things handled today? She's no longer welcome at the bar. Yeah. 
Sam 150. 10-4. Alright, Candace, were you able to call someone to come and pick you up? Yeah. Who did you call? I can't hear you. No. Okay. <laughs> I just want to go home. And, uh, and Candace, remember, we've been trying to work on getting you home, but you don't have any money for a cab. Okay? <laughs> you can't drive because you're intoxicated. Right? So that's why I asked if you can call a friend to see if someone can come and pick you up. Who did you call? No one. <laughs> okay, so I need you to call someone for me, okay? Okay. Because if not, then the next thing is, I'm going to have to take you, okay? Okay. Um, so, bar staff said they got here. She's, I'm going to have to end up taking her. I don't. I was going to say, she's yeah, very she's, nice. She's, yeah. Um, so, bar staff said she showed up here. She had a beer and a shot. Mm -hmm. Didn't even finish the beer. She, then she couldn't pay for her drink. So they're like, hey, we need a different car. This car isn't working. She came back outside. He thought she was getting a different car. And then that's when he said she just came in and she was just all belligerent, mm. yelling at other people in there. Um, so they just want her banned from the property. She has the open cases. And I came here, she was just sitting in the passenger seat mm -hmm. like this. So. I just want to go home. Okay. So, Candace, where were you drinking at tonight? Why? Well, I'm just trying to figure out... I just out. want to go home. Right. So, Candace, let me just explain this to you, okay? So, right now, I'm just trying to figure out how you got so intoxicated. Because I spoke to the bar staff here, and they said you had one beer and a shot, and you didn't even finish the beer. Okay. Regardless, I want to go home. Okay. Candace, do you know what day it is today? I just want to go home. Okay, you gotta ask, answer some questions for us, though, okay? Okay, fine. Okay. I don't have to answer those questions without an attorney. So, let me go home. Candace, how are you gonna go home? I want, I don't have to answer those questions without an attorney. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, Candace. Right now, you have conditions that you're not supposed to consume or possess alcohol. You're not supposed to even be in a bar, okay? I, I'm Are not going to answer anything without an attorney. I want to go yeah. home. Yeah. I want to go home with an attorney. Stop. I want to go home to an attorney. Okay, just give me one second here. Okay, you can like stop with the stop and let me go home. We have a job to do and that's what we're doing. That's fine. Okay. You don't have a right to do anything no, else. Besides, let me go home with an attorney. Okay. Hey, Candace, so I, I want to make sure that you're okay to care for yourself out, so I'm asking you to answer some basic questions. No. Okay. Do you know what today's date to, is? No. I want to, you can't answer me, ask me any other questions besides an attorney. Okay. Let me go home. Go ahead and go home, Candace. You can't drive. Go ahead and go home. Okay, so you're not like me. Okay. So, Candace, you're no longer welcome at this bar anymore. You're banned from the okay. property. Okay. 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 Bye. Something when she walked. Well, yeah, she can't can't drive, so she left her vehicle. I'm just I wondering think, where she. I don't think she could find her keys. Oh, perfect. Even better. She couldn't find her keys. Okay. Then she came in because she couldn't find her vape, and then she didn't have any shoes on. She did sit in the passenger seat. Yeah. And I've been a bartender, so I was like, I'm like, what? You look a little bit of a wee hole looking in the car. If you turn on your light, you can look at the seat. Yeah. So I want to swear a little bit. Once. 
Ryan's a newbie. He's, oh. he's a young bartender, but as soon as she started hitting the windows, what should I do? What should I do? As soon as she started hitting the, the, the windows, it's like, nope, we need to call the police yeah. because this is getting out of disorder with here. Yep. <laughs> I was like, I thought she was going to drive away. And we just got here, so. Okay. I don't think she went like, ran out the road. Plate number nice. Yet. But she was sitting in the passenger seat, so I thought that was the, I don't even know if she knows that she probably drove here. Right. That's trying to figure out where she came from, but she didn't want to give us any of that information. So. I I come here. I usually only stay for like an hour at a time now. Sometimes, but I've never seen it. I've been coming okay. here for almost a year. Yeah. Do you know if she went to the bathroom by any chance? Uh, no, she couldn't have gotten in. The back door is locked, and after we got her out, the second no, time. No, the first time when she was inside, do you know if she went into the bathroom by any chance? Lost her keys in there or anything? No, there's nothing in there. No, I was in the bathroom. Yeah, it's, it's pretty clean in there. Hmm. She was feisty, but, you know, I could have been like, come on, let's be my beat. Lock the door. <laughs> and I just told Ryan, I'm like, I locked the front door. And then she got, that's when she got even more mad. Oh, okay. I don't want her in there because she's just. She, yeah. Knocked on a couple of chairs. I don't even think it was intentional. I think she was just hanging on to it. She was that. Oh, drunk. sure. In the woods? Yeah. Oh, Joe. Are you able to stand? Candace, are you able to stand? Are you injured? Did you fall? You gotta help yourself too. I just saw you walking, so you, you can stand up. I can help you there, okay? You gotta use your legs. Candace, we're going to walk on over to my squad on over here, okay? All right, go ahead and have a seat for me, okay? Candace, you're just going no, to the hospital, leave okay? Leave me alone. Candace. No. Candace. No, you're going to judge your fucking me. Candace. No. I'm going to the hospital. No. Just relax, no. okay? No. Candace. No. We helped you from... No. Candace, come on. No, no. Where's my daughter? Where? Where? No. No. Candace. No, Candace. you're going to take me. Candace, no. I am going to no. take you. No. You don't stop, okay? You have two choices. Leave me, leave me. You're not going to take me. You have two choices. You can go to the hospital or jail. Which one do you want to go to? <laughs> Did you hear me, Candace? You have two choices, hospital or jail. Which one would you like to go We're to? We're trying to help you out here, Candace. No, you're going to take me. Hospital or jail? Those are only options right now. No. Candace, you need to decide. <laughs> Hospital or jail? <laughs> we're we're trying up. to help you, okay? <laughs> Have a seat. I <laughs> know <laughs> where's my baby? <laughs> Where's my daughter? She's at home. <laughs> no, have no. Candace, have a seat. There you go. Here. Have a seat right up there. <laughs> One, two, three. Where's my daughter? She's still at home. 
Where's my daughter? Where's my Where's my daughter? No, you took her from me. Where's my baby? You took my daughter from me. Where's my baby? You took my daughter. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> 
Ultimately, Karen was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. But if you ask me, she should also be trespassed from all liquor stores within a 500 mile radius. Back in 2018, on a wild September 22nd evening in Key West, Florida, a hotel worker dialed up the cops because a couple was having a little tiff in their room. It all started when the lovebirds had a few too many drinks. When questioned by the officers, Karen, the girlfriend, put on her best poker face and acted like she had no clue about the whole ruckus. She was basically playing hide and seek with getting arrested. Let's see how that strategy worked out for her. Is he involved? He is. I'm sorry, can you have a seat? He just wants to leave. I'm just trying I'm to just leave. have a seat. Yeah, he just wants to leave. What's going on? Why am I here? I've been trying to leave. She keeps pushing, strangling me, hitting me because she didn't want me to leave. How are you guys related? Um, we have a child together. All right. Are you That's married? Much it. No. Right. That's why Let's I stare here. Hello. Hi. Are you okay? No. Well, why am I here? Why did someone call the police? I don't know. Police? I think you need to leave. I don't I know. know what's going I can't on. Leave. We, we I'm came here. Back. I honestly, I'm so embarrassed. I don't know what's going it's all right. on. We came back. We came back from the pool, and we had a great day. And then all of a sudden, he just told me he was leaving, and we're not supposed to check out till Monday morning. I don't know what's you going he, on. Do you think he's leaving to, to separate? I don't know. For, I don't know. For just temporary, because you guys are fighting, or? I'm so embarrassed. I have no idea. You are have there, to go. Are there any weapons in here? No. All right, can you just have a seat real quick? No. Take a deep breath. I don't want him to leave. We're not supposed to leave till Monday morning. Listen, I'm here. I have to investigate this. I understand. So I, I, I don't need know. What, I'm so confused. I don't know what's going I on. I need you to take a deep breath. Can you have a seat and take a deep breath? I don't know. I honestly, I don't know what's going on. We were supposed okay. to get ready to go to okay. dinner. I don't know what's okay. going on. She seems really intoxicated. Yeah. That's so why I'm trying to leave. Okay, so can, can, you break, can, you, when that happens. can you break it down for me? What? She had too much to drink. I asked about three hours ago to stop drinking. And, uh, five, five. She didn't. Five, five. And I'm can trying to leave. The Turn me to the other half. I mean, Are those, is that from that earlier? It's fine. I just. Is I there just, any yes or no questions? Is that from earlier? It's right just, here. Oh no, no, not this. That's that's old. That's okay. old. You said she was trying to strangle you and stuff hey, like that. She was. She was just trying to keep me from leaving. Everything's fine. I just. Can I just get my black backpack and leave? No, no, no. Do you have idea now? Yeah. All right, can I see it. You guys have a kid together? Yes, sir. Tomorrow's her birthday. Do you have idea on you? Bro. He had, he had my wallet earlier. I don't know where anything is. We came back from the pool. I don't know where anything is. 60, we're in the back by the pool. Do you have her ID? I don't. Oh, okay. No. Uh, it may be in her backpack in one of the side pouches, or it could be in one of those blue tote bags. Okay. Please, just don't let him leave. He's so drunk. He's not leaving. Don't. I don't know. Where's, where's your I wallet? Don't, I don't know. Okay, I okay. don't know. Okay. I don't know. I to... Please don't let him leave. He's I don't not... know what's going on. He's not leaving. <laughs> we just came back from hanging out in a pool like a couple blocks.
blocks away, and then all of a sudden right. he came back in here and told me he was leaving what's me. We're not name? supposed to leave till fr till what's, Monday. What's your first name? Okay, oh, here, I'll write it down. No, just tell me. Yeah. What's your middle initial? What's your last name? I don't, know what's, what's, I, I don't I need, know what's going on. I need you to take a deep breath. What is your birthday? <gasps> I'll fill you in in a minute. Can you use information to get it already? What, what state is your driver's license out of? Thank you. My driver's license is never seen. Okay. I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I'll be right back, okay? Who called the police? Uh, with them, my friend, yes, Kate. M? You called. Alright, do me a favor. Lean your head that way so I can... See the other side of your neck? In the back of your... Put your arms out like this. Turn the other way. Move your, put your hands flat and put your fingers out. Yeah, I swear to God, on my daughter, two year old daughter's life, I never touched him. Wait, do you have any marks? Can you put your hands up? Any marks? Can I, come here. I did. I swear to God, on my life. I need your phone number. I'm ready. I swear to God in my life, I never I touched him. And this, this is not. This is. Yeah. Right. Here you go. Did you witness them fighting? Excuse me? Did you witness them fighting? Not really. Okay. I mean, I closed the door. Okay. She's going to jail tonight for domestic battery. She has to. Why? All right. Why? Because we have probable cause. No, 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 no. Listen, I just... She is. It sir, is what it is. Sir. If you, if you okay. cause any trouble, you're going to go too, all right? Well, of course It not. is what it is. So stay here, chill. all over. No. No, no, I did not touch him. Please, please, don't put me in jail. I'm you're not... This. That's going to be an extra charge. Not, I you're, didn't touch relax. him. Just I didn't relax. touch him. Please, this room is in my name. Please. Chill. Oh, my God. I swear to God in my life, I didn't touch him. Please, I'm from Louisiana. I have to be back at work on Tuesday. Now, please, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? What about my purse and my phone and everything you else? Can grab that stuff. You. Uh, why are you arresting me? The what did I do? Battery. What? We have probable cause. I swear to God, I never touched him. I swear to God, I never touched him. We're supposed to be here. We're supposed to fly out on Tuesday. Where's your... Okay. Where's your person? I you swear to God, my life. Person? Are you really arresting me yes. right now? Where's your person? Can you, can you look that way real quick? I have to double lock these. So you get so your person stuff. Where's your, where's your stuff? You have you got to be me. What is going on? It is Saturday night. My birthday is tomorrow. Okay, we're yeah. asking you. Where's the stuff Sucks. you want to take Oh, God. You? Is there a person you want to take with what you? What happens now? What happens now? Is he... Can he... Oh, my God. Can he tell you that he... Can he tell you right now he doesn't want me arrested? It's not up to him. It's up to y'all? No, it's the state of Florida. Okay, let's hold grab on, your stuff. Hold on, hold on. Where's your purse and stuff that you want to take? Hold on, that's my phone right there on the bed. Want to take okay. your phone? Yes. What else Are you, you kidding me right now? I don't even have you underwear or bra on. You want to get some flip flops? Oh my god, I didn't touch him. I swear to god on my life, Where's I didn't the touch him. Is there a purse or a wallet? Oh, yes. Where is it at? Yes, it's in my purse hey, okay. right there in my backpack. I'm sorry. Yes, my, what, about my, what about my thing? It's in here? What? 81. Oh my God, are you serious right now? <gasps> no one, where are you? It's, 
What about, about we're supposed to check out of here where tomorrow? Is your, where is your wall? It's in one, one of the side pockets. Can you just, can you get my face, my, your hair on your face? Yes, what are you doing right now? Time out, time out for a second. Yes, can you wait for just a second? For what? I, I didn't, I have not touched him. We don't have a choice. So I have to wait till Monday for a judge to, yeah, it, this is not right. So what happens to all of my things are that are here? Purse, that? Just you okay. want the whole purse or just this? There's no reason to take this. Can you tell me what is going to happen? What about all of my things that are here in this? Let's walk. Please, my work phone is and my work phone. Every, this is your work phone? Yes. Okay. And my iPad is on that bed right now. What You're happens? You're not taking to, your iPad. Okay, but what happens to all of my things if I have to leave? Are you two married? Or are you dating? We're, we're to, we yeah, live to together. We have a child let's together. Go, let's go. Let's go. Please go. tell me what is going to happen to all of my things. Look at Under Florida law, when the police are called to a domestic battery incident, they have to determine who the primary aggressor is and take that person to jail. Although Karen quickly went into victim mode and manufactured some phony tears, she was ultimately identified as the primary aggressor and was thus arrested for battery. <laughs> 